Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G, thank you for clicking this episode. If you are a regular here or someone who hasn't seen my videos yet in this channel, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that bell button so that you'll be notified of my new videos every now and then. Today, the Miss USA 2020 preliminary competition just happened and I can't wait to share with you my favorites to win the title for this year. Who do you think they are? That's what I will talk about in a bit. Let's go straight to the source. Uh, the story time. Do you think the swimsuit competition of Miss Universe pageant is still there? So before I begin to run down my favorites for this year's Miss USA title, I will no longer nitpick the production values of the competition as I feel I'm just truly grateful that MUO was still able to come out with an edition this year. I know the stage, lighting, and even the Sherry Hill gowns could have been better, but in light of what's happening in the world right now, I hope I could encourage you guys to respond with more positivity since mounting a pageant like this is not easy at, the, at this time considering that the U.S. has 8 million cases of COVID right now. Tennessee alone with thousands of cases as of the latest count. So thank you MUO for still doing this to us. We really truly appreciate the effort. So getting that out of the way, here are now my top 12 picks for Miss USA 2020. Guys, I'm only listing down 12 girls in my list because I feel like Miss USA has been so hard to predict since 2016. My batting average isn't good. I've never gotten the winner right since 2016. It feels like that the Miss Universe organization has always been looking for a spokesperson with an incredible resume more than looking for the most beautiful woman in the batch. So taking this into account, here now are my top 12 picks in random order. At number 12 is Kelly Hutchinson from Alabama. I really love her face on stage. Face for days! She commanded very strong on stage and she had one of those Sherry Hill gowns that I really really like. I really love it. And more than that, she really has a sobbing backstory. She lost her father to cancer when she was 15 and that's why she advocates for cancer prevention by becoming a member of American Cancer Society. She has a college degree in communications and is on her way to get a Juris Doctorate for it. At number 11 is Taylor Kessler from Texas. Is it just me or what? But she kind of reminds me of Miss USA 2008 Crystal Stewart last night. For me, this 23-year-old lady acquitted herself very well, especially during the evening gown segment of the competition. She had one of the best gowns last night, and that yellow gown was her state pageant gown minus the shoulder fringe, I was told. I don't mind it was a recycle. She still worked it. I also like her bio. She was a victim of bull bullying when she was a kid. That's why she is an advocate for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault, especially after having gone through it at a very young age. Next is Monique Evans from Florida. Can we just talk about her leg muscles first? She's definitely a fit queen and even served pink gown couture on stage. She looks gorgeous. She has the poise, elegance, and spunk all in one. This pharmaceutical representative and ballet instructor confidently presented herself on stage considering she was so shy back then in college. At number 9 is Alison Gupta from California. I love her. She really reminds me of Paris Hilton on stage. I love her gown. But I felt her gown was as heavy as her makeup. I just hope she realizes she is gorgeous enough not to overdo her makeup. 
I was also underwhelmed by her swim performance, but that's just me. However, I am still giving her a pass on my list as I really love her backstory. It is only this year that she was able to fulfill her dream of competing in Miss USA after finally getting cleared for her immigrant status. So, I really love that. So, kudos to her for making it this far. At number 8 is Alexis Lietti from Indiana. You know what? I can't make up my mind whether she was channeling Brooke Shields or Mandy Moore during the preliminary competition last night. She, for me, she wore a very beautiful evening gown, a deep neck halter design which showcased her creamy shoulders as she was a varsity athlete back in college. She is an aspiring model as well and an actress who dreams of becoming a game show host. As a beauty queen, she advocates for women empowerment including issues such as representation of women in male-dominated fields. She graduated cum laude from her university where she studied broadcast journalism and communications. Next is Samantha Nayland from Hawaii. I love her. She really has this very diverse and inclusive look and that hair gets me i feel like nowadays the bigger your hair in miss usa the higher your chances of winning the crown <laughs> but seriously now she really reminds me of miss I miss iceland in miss universe last year besides miss island she also reminds me so much of the shauna barbers because of her military background which has given her a chance to travel around the world apart from her military background, she is also a very successful model and actress having appeared in various feature films before. At number 6 is Stephanie Marie Miranda from Ohio, another Latina girl with a stunning face but I felt like she was a victim of poor styling. I wonder what got into her when she did that kind of hairstyle. I thought it really aged her. I just wish she wore her hair in a ponytail and even the gown was really underwhelming. It felt like she was making a tribute to Mariam Habak on this. I just wish it had no fringes at the bottom. She talks about a lot of fashion on her YouTube but I am so surprised at her choice. Anyhow, I still believe she would still be up there given her strong communication skills and previous pageant experiences. At number 5 is Sabrina Victor from Massachusetts. I am putting her high in my list because she looks so fierce and cool in terms of stage presence and personality. Or does she just reminds me so much of our current Miss Universe Sosie Tunzi? She is so sweet, kind, and goofy anything but boring and did you know that she used to be a backup singer for Mariah Carey before? She's definitely that kind of girl who could change the world. She's just brimming with confidence and why not? She has an incredible resume as well. She has a dual degree in theater and journalism which has helped her in a lot of social issues in the world right now and she hopes to leave a mark on it with her likeness and credentials. Next on my list is Mariah Davis from Oklahoma. Can I just say how she looks stunning during the prelims? Her white gown and styling work wonders for her big time. I have never seen a gown like this before even though the silhouette was something I have seen before. A Venus cut design on top while a flowy Natalie Glebova Miss Universe dress on the bottom part. If there is a blonde girl who performed well, it is her. I also think she has great communication skills because she, since she has a degree in media and now works in the reality TV circuit as she aspires to become an entertainment news host in the near future. Next on my list is As A Asha Danielle from Mississippi. You know what? This is another girl who is the complete package. A beautiful woman of color with a beautiful bio being the first African-American to win her state title. She is also an entrepreneur who runs her own cosmetic line and is taking up broadcast journalism at her university. It's so good that she is considered underrated for a lot of pageant fans even when she walks out of stage our jaws usually drop. She just has to be more powerful with her walk to seal the deal for me. 
Almost Miss USA for me is Kim Lane from Idaho. You know what? I really love her, not just because she is half Filipino. That face alone screams universe for me every time. She gave a P.S. Mice face and a Maureen Montang's showmanship with her pasarela. That was how powerful she was on stage. It was so flawless. Even the choice of her evening gown made her a standout. She is 25% Irish, 25% American, and 50% Filipina. So she is very diverse in terms of look. Very commercial. Just, you know what, amazing stage presence as well. Great presentation skills. 26-year-old Kim is passionate about health promotion and disease prevention. She is currently pursuing degrees in veterinary medicine and public health and should receive her medical license within the next year. Idaho! After Miss USA, she plans to pursue a career in public health, addressing health risks for both animals and humans. And my number one overall pick for Miss USA 2020 is Andrea Jebel from New York! What can I say? But she really delivered big time! This girl needs no more introduction as we all fell in love with her the moment she competed here in Miss Earth three years ago. For me, she really murdered the entire competition. Killed it last night. She was fierce and unstoppable with those stairs and powerful walk. She knows exactly what she is doing and she came to Tennessee to take home that crown. That face body, the best walk since Catriona Gray in 2018. You can quote me on that. She just screams so Miss Universe for me at this moment and it will be such a waste if Miss Universe organization will bypass her on Tuesday morning. She is just so perfect for the job being a motivational speaker, writer, and philanthropist apart from the fact that she came from humble beginnings. If IMG is thinking what I am thinking, it's bet it better crown her now since she has also a huge fan base both in the United States and here in the Philippines. Practically speaking, crowning her is also good as it will keep the Black Lives Matter and other social issue conversations going. That's how current and relevant she is. If USA wants to place high in Miss Universe again, they better crown her because for sure she will make both the Latinas and Asians shaking on their boots if she competes there. That's how formidable she is as a contender. She really needs to win. So guys, what do you think about my choices? Does it match yours? Anyhow, thank you for watching this episode and I hope you like it. And we'll keep coming back for more. Until my next video, bye!